G'day guys, Billy here from Lost Treasure West Australia. Well, as you can see, fellas, all the stormy clouds. We've got a um, big cyclone coming down south, fellas. So currently it's up in the Pilbara region of West Australia, forecasting anywhere from, I think, 25 to 50 millimetres of rain. Not, not that much, it's a couple of inches, guys, but it's a lot of water still, and um, so it's good for the environment. And right here, guys, is my billabong. Hopefully you can hear me from the wind. It's pretty windy too. So this has just dried up in the last couple of weeks and now we're going to get a heap of rain and all of this will fill up with thousands of um, species, or sorry, thousands of tadpoles and will attract some really nice bird life for photography. So as you've seen the last few days guys, I've been taking some really nice photos. I've got a beautiful Nikon uh, Coolpix uh, P900. And it's just amazing for photography and uh, videos. So, so I mainly bought this for flat earth videos, guys. I'm a big flat earther. Anyway, I don't want to upset people by talking about flat earth. Um, but yes, yeah, it's just awesome for uh, taking photos of wildlife and stuff. So this is just a bit of a before um, video, guys. So you can see what this area looks like dry. And also... It's going to be awesome for the lakes. Hopefully we'll get a bit of water in Lake Dongbyong. I doubt it, but because it's so silted, all the riverbeds are silted up, really hard to fill up the lake with water. But there's heaps of lakes around my area, guys, smaller lakes, so they'll definitely fill up with water. So there's going to be some beautiful videos coming up soon, fellas, for wildlife and bird life, photography and so forth. So it's just going to make my videos really good. And I'm doing... Going to do some nice drone footage soon, guys. I am flying the drone at the moment. I'm just waiting to get a good build up of good videos and I'll do a good compilation type videos. This is that bucket, fellas, where I rescued the bobtail. So I dug a heap of buckets, guys, so I could save tadpoles when it dries out like this. Just come in with my scoop net, pick up the tadpoles at the moment. It is chock-a-block full of frogs. These are western toads, guys. Look at that. That is a beautiful looking frog. Look at the colours. Alright, there you are. There's another species, guys. Sorry, I'm wrong. This one here is a western toadlet. And I'm not too sure what that one is. I think that's a motorbike frog. Or, or it's a motorbike frog. A baby juvenile, or what's the other one called? Oh, I've got these all in my garden too. I can't think at the moment. So here's this area, fellas, again. I put these ties in here. Um, I rescued a heap of tadpoles anyway. So right here, guys, so this is a catchment area. So when it rains, it floods, and it fills up this dam, or the water comes out the top here. Hopefully you can hear me. And this dam will fill up the water, guys, so that's going to be awesome. And believe it or not, This dam is going to fill up water fellas for the next couple of days. So, believe it or not, this dam is bone dry at the moment, but there's tiny fish eggs in there, like minnows. It's amazing, these minnows can survive years without water, the eggs, and um, even like a decade plus, as soon as it rains, it fills up with water, it's full of little tiny fish, and heaps of other little creatures, freshwater crayfish. Freshwater crayfish will be living underneath those rocks at the moment and buried under the mud. So, and also get some really nice birds here. Alright, guys, so stay tuned, we'll show you what it looks like in the next couple of days. See ya.
So here's this area fellas again, I put these ties in here, um, I risk a heap of tap poles anyway. So right here guys, so this is a catchment area, so when it rains, it floods and it fills up this dam or the water comes out the top here, hopefully you can hear me, and this dam will fill up the water guys, so that's going to be awesome. And believe it or not, This dam is going to fill up water fellas for the next couple of days. So, believe it or not, this dam is bone dry at the moment, but there's tiny fish eggs in there, like minnows. It's amazing these minnows can survive years without water, the eggs, and um, even like a decade plus. As soon as it rains, it fills up with water, it's full of little tiny fish and heaps of other little creatures, freshwater crayfish. Freshwater crayfish will be living underneath those rocks at the moment and buried under the mud. So, and also get some really nice birds here. Alright, guys, so stay tuned, we'll show what it looks like in the next couple of days. See ya. G'day, fellas. Well, I just realised after. A year or two of bloody making all these videos about the Western Toadlet, I've been totally wrong guys. It's not actually the Western Toadlet. It's called the Bleating Toadlet. Very, very similar species of frog, but the Western Toadlet isn't around my area. It's actually the uh, Bleating Toadlet. So I'll get one, I'll get a few. We'll show you what they look like. 
got to tell you that water is guys but it's full of nice stuff for them we'll see no it didn't catch one So that is a bleating toadlet. Um, actually, with these frog skies, these will um, shrink heaps and they turn into frogs. So they'll lose the tail, as you all know about. As you can see, fellas, these frogs or tadpoles will actually shrink a little bit when they turn into frogs and they go for the metamorphosis. They go for the metamorphosis stage. And also, fellas, the reason why these tadpoles are dark, really dark brown, almost black colour, is because of the colour of the water. So if these tadpoles are in a white um, or tea coloured water, they would be a white colour. It's because of um, this water's not very clean. It is actually clean. It's full of vitamins and stuff in there, you know, all the good stuff. Here's a frog here, just starting to turn into a frog, I think. Oh, lost him. But there's still heaps in here guys so the the water doesn't actually smell it's just a funny color so this water is actually clean it doesn't actually smell guys well he's a big one so there you are you can just see this one here it's got it's starting to form the legs on the back Well, that's a, a bigger tadpole just going starting to go for the metamorphosis stage and just see the little two legs at the back and it'll turn into a frog probably in the next month or so so yeah bleating toadlets fellas i was wrong so i really apologize about that but they're a very very similar species and this one here what i just caught in my pond here this one here is either a banjo frog or a um, motorbike frog really hard to identify guys from this stage there you are so those ones there are either like I say a motorbike frog or a banjo frog so these ones when these ones make a nest it's a white foamy nest so it's just like white sticky foam and this one here guys you can just these eggs here have only just hatched in the last will be a few probably the last four weeks so you can see it is absolutely chock-a-block full these ones once again would be either motorbike frogs or banjo frogs I'd say banjo frogs so I've probably got about five different species of frogs in my backyard. Oh, I love them guys, I don't like fish. Anti-fish. So you see it's full of thousands of tadpoles and probably around only 10% of these tadpoles will survive and turn into frogs. So it's just beautiful, especially during winter and summer. At night, hearing all the different frog noises, all the sounds and it's this attracts, you know, keep control of all the mosquitoes and everything else. I'll show you an example of mosquitoes, guys. Here's another little pond. We'll see what's in here. I don't know if there's anything in here. Needs to be topped off water. No. It's hard. Oh, yeah, look at that. I didn't even know, guys. I did not even know. Some baby tadpoles. Once again, motorbike frogs or... Banjo frogs or tadpoles. So I didn't even know that there was tadpoles in here and I need to top it up. This one here guys is full of mosquito larvae. You can even just see all the little bugs flying around. <coughs> I'll show you all the mosquitoes. There you are. 
or mosquitoes guys and that's what the frogs will eat frogs and tadpoles so what I'll probably do is I'll take out a heap of tadpoles from one of the ponds and I'll empty them in here and that way those tadpoles can eat all this larvae larva. alright guys we'll top this one up and we'll catch a heap of tadpoles so you've got to be careful, it's really hot at the moment and these ponds, well my ponds dry out really really quickly the reason being is obvious, obviously evaporation but all this water grass it just sucks up the water really quick so we'll top it up and we'll put a couple of jars and we'll empty some of these banjo and motorbike frogs into my other ponds to eat the mosquito larvae and this is my beautiful peace tree fellas unfortunately I planted or did this pond in the wrong um, right underneath the peace tree not realising how much or how many leaves would actually fall in so this one gets clogged up with leaves and it gets, this one actually does get quite smelly last year this one was chock-a-block full of um, tadpoles but no, now there's nothing in there because there's probably too many leaves we'll empty all these leaves guys and then we'll transfer some of those motorbike frog tadpoles or banjo frog tadpoles in here it's not too smelly but obviously just a little tiny bit it kind of pollutes the water and nothing can kind of breed in here and also it's a bit too shady this spot a bit too too much not much sunshine gets in this area so we'll get rid of all these leaves or most of them and the tadpoles will also eat these leaves the actual leaves turn into like that and the tadpoles will nibble on all that the baby ones so yep we'll transfer a heap of tadpoles in here too and there's no mosquitoes in this one There's a heap of tadpoles in here, guys. Alright, so we'll grab some of these tadpoles here. Yeah. We we'll are. chuck them in this pond here and also the one underneath the peace tree. And this is the one full of mosquitoes. So that'll get rid of most of those mosquitoes fellas and that way the tadpoles have something to eat. And I'll just transfer a heap of these ones, there's a lot more in here as you can see guys. <laughs> Harder to catch but... So that one's done, that one's done. Now we've got this one here guys. And also putting uh, water in like that, guys, also puts plenty of oxygen in the water. And this one here, guys, is, needs to be relined so it's full of all grass as well. So I'll get there eventually, but this one was a really good one, really big, really deep.